Hi beautiful souls, it's Tan here again today talking about the next opposite sign, Taurus and Scorpio, the second house and the eighth house. So I have made an opposite sign video, introduction video. You can click the links up above to watch that one first and also in the description box below. So you can watch that and get a clear understanding of why we're even bothering with opposite signs in astrology and then come back here and watch this video. So with Taurus and Scorpio, the second house and the eighth house, this union brings together the ability to find security through learning self-worth. So Taurus and the second house, being of the earth element, is all about finding security within the material world. The cultivation of abundance, collecting anything and everything from objects to money to experiences and then giving life to it. This is the life-giving, fertile, fresh, and luscious energy. This is the archetype of the sensual hedonist, indulging in whatever it is that feeds their five senses. Food, music, perfume, art, and soft things. But also highly loyal in whatever they choose to devote their time and love into. Taurus and the second house, ruled by the planet Venus, bestows inner and outer beauty and attractiveness. A slow and steady walk through life, stopping to smell the roses, to take a nap, to grab an ice cream. Because what is true spirituality without a calm and a relaxed, mindful mind? After all, Taurus values the self deeply, in a sense that it doesn't need it doesn't feel like it needs to really prove anything to the world. Scorpio and the eighth house, ruled by the water element, is all about maintaining emotional stability through emotional traumas, aka building inner strength. The urge to go deep within the self and to puke up the poison of past pain that has been pervasive to self-growth because a death of the old and a rebirth of the new is a constant cycle. This is the archetype of the psychic or the mystic, that kind of scary and creepy person that nobody really wants to get close to, but still kind of obsesses over because of their sexual magnetism. Those who enter their cave will never come out the same, if they ever do come out at all. And transformation through sex and intimacy is a craving. Scorpio in the 8th house, ruled by the planet Pluto and Mars, bestows a raw yet dark sexual appeal. The sharing of everything, you know, secrets, desires, money, resources, the body and the soul, is a theme. What it is like to have it all, but then lose it all. The cultivation of control and inner strength is the kind of self-worth that Scorpio and the 8th house learns to build on their own over time. When these two archetypes meet in your natal chart, whether you have one or both, or when they meet externally through a relationship with another person, they're coming together to learn the skills of how to value the self without the reliance on either the external material resources that you get on your own or the external material resources that you get from other people. They might repel each other at first, you see, because Taurus might not quite understand why Scorpio is keeping most people at arm's length and going around not really trusting anyone fully, thinking that they could just be attacked anytime and that the world is against them. Scorpio might not understand why Taurus has to be so nice and pleasing to everyone, even strangers, because can't they see, can't the Taurus see that danger is just around the corner? So Taurus might just back away and Scorpio just can't be bothered with this materialistic person. They might also be highly attracted to each other at first because Taurus sees in the Scorpio the courage to live life authentically and that Scorpio has the ability to show them what is lying underneath the surface of everything. Because you see, Taurus is the soil and Scorpio is the underground, or shall we say the underworld. And Taurus has a craving to see what is beneath that soil. 
Scorpio feels that Taurus has the most beautiful and peaceful way of bringing them up from the underground or the underworld to breathe fresh air to really live and enjoy what they can feel with their senses something that they were blinded to when they were living underground this polarity in your natal chart initially can bring a push and pull and an imbalance between yes I need to prove something to the world mainly my self-worth by being able to go all the way with sex and intimacy and my own mind and achieving everything Scorpio and I just love myself I know what I'm worth and well I'm worth all the things that I can collect and gather in the material world Taurus when these two meet are in and are in perfect balance they realize that the seed of self-growth is cultivated from within intimacy and love go hand in hand because intimacy without love is need and obsession and love without intimacy is well something's gonna always be missing sex and sensuality go hand in hand because well sex without sensuality is just dry and sensuality without sex doesn't really allow the soul to experience bliss together the archetype of Taurus and Scorpio the second house and the eighth house gives you the power of sustenance what belongs to me what belongs to you and what belongs to us is a key here my money your money our money money is ultimately not just money it is an exchange of energy and emotions sex is not just sex it is an ex it is an exchange of energy and emotions and then there is security from within together these two archetypes are the infinite cycle of life and death and the ability to sustain a fulfilling life before one dies and is then reborn again so that's my take on Taurus and Scorpio the second house and the eighth house if you have this polarity within your chart or within an external situation like in a relationship then leave in the comment comments below what your experiences have been if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below to come along with us on more astrology growth journeys if you've already subscribed then thank you very much for coming along and i'll see you very soon in the next video guys bye